Hey guys, I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. Today, we're gonna make a fall-inspired salad with butternut squash and kale. So, this is a pretty simple salad. It's really easy to whip up, it's super healthy, and still fall-inspired. We've got some cranberries, some butternut squash, parmesan, some sliced almonds, and some big honking kale. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is move your stuff around, open up some pre-sliced, because we're going to do some more slicing of your butternut squash. We're not gonna need all of this, but I would cut it anyway and just bake it, and then you'll have it for something later. So let's chop these into really small pieces. I'm thinking maybe like a cup of these finely chopped squash pieces will be just right. Okay, now that we've chopped up some squash, just place it into the bowl that you're going to have your salad in. I love those cooking shows where people chop stuff and then they put it somewhere and you're like, oh, you did such a beautiful job and nothing went anywhere. I'm like, <laughs> it's not my show. All right, cool. So all we're gonna do is just throw some olive oil on it and stir it around. Make sure it's really nice and coated. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> I am not pro chef, but we are accomplishing what we need to right now whilst making a mess. This is nice and evenly coated, perfect. Put that aside, grab a pan with some tin foil. We're gonna lay it out, roast it at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Just make sure it's getting nice and golden brown. All right, let's just lay that all in there. Spread it out nice and evenly. We're gonna grab our salt and pepper and just sprinkle it all over. This is such a great thing to make ahead too. If you've just got like a busy week ahead of you, you can do this on a Sunday and just get some of your meals prepared. So you have things to mix and match. So much easier. Let's put this in for about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure to flip it over, make sure it gets nice and golden brown and it's soft and then it's done. Let's chop up some of our beautiful kale. I feel like it should just be like, Hello, I'm Miss California. Hi. All right, but really, let's actually chop some of this. So I'm just gonna get right in there and chop almost all of it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make like two servings here. I don't really wanna make like just one serving. So you determine how much lettuce, how much kale you need and then just start placing it in there. And we've already got olive oil, so we're actually like, keeping it nice and conserving olive oil. We're using everything. It's very farm to table. I was reading this thing about popular foods per year and kale was I think like 2013. And I was like, yeah, that feels right. <laughs> I feel like our lives changed completely because of kale and quinoa. <laughs> I will probably be having this later with quinoa. We're gonna douse this in all of our olive oil and all of our toppings so that it can really sink in and just soften the kale. We have some cranberries. Let's open those up and sprinkle at your leisure. I think I'm just gonna put about a quarter cup of cranberries in here. All right, and then I've got some chopped almonds. You could also use walnuts or, you know, anything that's kind of a cool sort of fall nut, like a, like a walnut, I think that'd be lovely. So that's probably about like, you know, three tablespoons, two tablespoons. Easy. I love this Parmesan. It's nice and shaved. It's really fresh. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in here. I'm gonna put a lot because I really like it. <laughs> then, salt and pepper. And don't add too much because we've already got salt and pepper on our squash. So that's gonna give a lot of flavor. And for your squash, if you want to, you know, if you want to add a couple of different elements to it like chopped garlic, rosemary, sage would be really really good with this. In fact that'd be really good with this. So let's just douse this in olive oil because it really really wants it. It's gonna suck it right up. We're just gonna toss that till it's nice and coated. Like I said it's gonna suck it right up. Great! So let's just let that sit and absorb and get delicious and we'll be right back. Okay, we have pulled out our beautifully roasted pieces of butternut squash. Think about that for a second. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna use all of these. 
because they shrunk down a little bit and I have a feeling they're going to taste like french fries and I'd like some healthy french fries with my salad today. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. <laughs> Give that a good toss. This is going to be delicious. Okay, so this is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Ooh, you know what would be really good in this too? Pinchetta. Okay, just throwing that out there. So we have this, let me get a cranberry in there and some Parmesan. Bon appetit! Mmm, that is delicious. You've got your butternut squash, which is a really nice creamy texture, a really nice like fall flavor. This is delicious and so easy to make and so healthy. Yay! <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. Catch me at yourreluctanthousewife.com on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, your reluctant housewife, or just reluctant housewife. Leave a comment, say hey, and I'll see you next time, guys.